<laughs> All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Only, and today I'm going to be playing the Temple of Adventure. Now, somebody did tell me on Twitter to try out this game since I do like the Stanley Parable series, and it was actually pretty fun and really enjoyable. So I was just like, sure, I'm gonna try it out. I did love the Stanley Parable a lot. Please report to the classroom. Okay. Got to turn this off. What the hell's going on? So loud. What's going on? Oh, oh wait, I get it. It's, it's Middle East. Every song is uh, Who didn't use a cup holder? So we can't go in here. Okay, we can go in here though. Anything we're missing? Oh, I guess this is another game they had made for a mobile. You guys can check that out. Alright, I would close. Okay. Yep, that's the thing. Okay, can't mess with light switch. Headphone must be worn at all times. Okay. Noted. Already have it. Unreal Engine 4. <laughs> okay, so you can't close the doors back. Okay. Alright, where's the temple part? <laughs> Somebody was really pissed. They really probably they probably were expecting something else and got this instead. Oops. I. What? What? No, I have seventy-eight. Twenty? No. Oh, okay. Uh. Uh. Twenty-one. 21? Nope. Uh, 28. 21. If you have ticket number 21, please make your way to the door and push the button. Please. I have 78. Seriously? Alright. Can't click any of these? Number 23? Oh, hang on. No, uh, 22, sorry. 22? Yeah, I am about to say you skipped over uh, a number. Or 23, either of you. At this point, I'm not, I don't mind anymore. <laughs> number 19. Number 19. Okay, we went back. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, someone's paying attention. Okay, who's ready for the best adventure ever? C uh, come this way. Not, not me. So, the thing is, I don't think the Stanley Parable series can actually be, like, you know, top. Right, I suppose I should uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name's Stuart Lilford, and I'm the designer, director, level designer, pretty much wearer of many hats uh, when it comes to this this game that you're playing, uh, the Temple of Adventure. I, I mean, this isn't the game that you're in. Uh, yeah, I could you're just sort tell. of in the front end at the minute. The game's coming up. You're on the way to the main menu, um, and you've just come from splash screens. Uh, but before we get to there, though, um, I'm just going to show you a pre pre main menu cinematic, um, just to sort of kick things into gear, uh, and get you super hyped up for the awesome adventure you're about to have so just keep going this way and, and you'll get there okay how oh, darn it you and your music the clock doesn't work but like i was saying i don't think the stanley parable series can actually be top just because the stanley parable had so much into it so many references so many like paths so many like endings yeah i don't think it can top it but it was actually pretty good I'll actually give it props where it's due. Okay, I can't go in there. Alright, close doors. Door close. Nope, never mind. Okay, so this room is the pre menu oh. cinematic. Okay, great. So now just hit play on the VCR video player and oh. we should be able to. I didn't watch know that was something I was about to do. Um, intro video to the Temple of Adventure. I can't go back. Oh, I can't go any do anything else. I gotta do this stuff. Oh, whoop. Um, whoops. Well, that wasn't my that's fault. That's not supposed to happen. Totally uh, didn't do that. Are you sure you pressed the right button? Yep. Uh, um. I think well, what's supposed to happen is it's going to play a video that sort of explains the history of of uh, the Temple of Adventure, the game, and the development, and nah, what I'm, you're going to I'm expect when you get good. through there. That's and, too much. Um, 
really could do with you watching it. I tell you what, I've got a script for the for the video. I'll I'll get that and I'll just read some the important bits. Hang on, hang on. Okay, yeah, you grab that. Totally didn't do that. That is actually right. bright. Uh, Let's just stop looking me. at that. Uh, so basically, the the game is made for the adventure game Jam, uh, which is which is uh, currently happening, and um, it's. The, the, the premise is it's the greatest adventure game of all time, uh, set in these 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 cool temples, these Indiana Jones style temples, um, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna have an awesome time. The video actually showed a lot of the you know the really cool stuff from the game, uh, like really nice visuals, like heaps of jungle and temples and all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, it's a shame you can't watch it if you just imagine it in your head uh, and then. Uh, anyway, nah, let, let's get... let's just move on and, and get get onto the game. Okay. Uh, thanks for opening the door for me. <laughs> I totally didn't do that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That wasn't my handiwork. Oh. Oh, here's where the choices begin. So there's DLC. Um. Really? That's my DLC. Yeah, we didn't have time to fully implement the DLC room, um, but if you want, you can send a check to Scared Square Games, and no, the, the no, fast track is, no, is only that's how you get me. Pounds. I'm good. Really? That's what is that? Also, by these people. <laughs> Sorry, you can't go in there. We didn't. Uh, we didn't finish it in time. It's, it's just really? an empty room. Uh, you, you can't go in there. The exit's not been hooked up properly, um, and also, you know, you're not a quitter, right? You, you, you don't want to quit now. Just keep going. Yeah, really, really. Okay. There's nothing I can do on these, right? Okay, making sure. Fast track, cheat, escape. Sorry, sort of a cheat escape here, you know. <laughs> Gotta go all the way around. I don't want to. I don't want to alarm you, but that VCR player that you broke earlier, uh, it, it's now caught fire and oh. it's, it's spreading throughout the the earlier offices. Um, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry too much about it, but it's. Oh. It, it, it is spreading. We're trying to deal with it, but I just thought I should let you know that that's that's gonna that's gonna cost us a lot of a lot of money in uh, in damages. Oh, uh, that's that's fine. Oh, what? Game, really? I, I see what you've done here. You, you've you looted me. I'm sorry for being a cheapskate. Oh. Oh. Okay, that messed with my mind a little bit. God darn you, radio. You always ease your way here. Oh, so I... I went through the cheapskate part. Popped up over here. Then ended up... Okay. I see. I see. So this this lift is kind of like the loading screen when you when you launch a game. Um, that's what this represents. Uh, oh. So it might take a little bit of time uh, for us to get to the, to the next floor because the, the game is so so big. It's got to load all the the jungle and the temples and everything. So we might be in here a little while. <coughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Um. Maybe I, I, I know. I'll, I'll light, I'll, um, I'll lighten the mood with a, with a bit of elevator music. Oh, just please don't. No, please the, don't. Get into the don't game. do it. Uh, so I'll just, I don't uh, need I'll that. And, uh, I'll keep that on here. Uh, here, no. here it is. Yeah, I'll put it on. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's that's not. Nice. Uh, right. Okay. There we go. It's off. It's off. Okay. Sorry, yeah, sorry that's not that. elevator music. Thanks for killing my eardrums. Just, uh, I can't be much further. Uh, we'll, we'll probably there soon. Um, I can actually see things moving. It's almost like the, uh, the 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 loading times you get on a on a PlayStation. Am I right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're really getting the the AAA experience here with 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 this game. <laughs> I hope you don't think that I'm. I'm stalling for time or anything, because uh, I'm definitely not. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you're right. You know, well, I don't, why would I do that? You know, we'll, we'll be there soon. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> also, this game can oh, be found on uh, Game Jolt, by the way. Oh, here we are. Okay. The game. Woohoo! We made it. So, 
behind this door, you'll enter the room. Uh, it's the room's dark. The lights will come on, and the level should the new the well the game should be loaded. The temple of adventure. So uh, please enter and enjoy. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. Wow, this is quite the adventure. Um, yep, quite yeah, the adventure. Look, this this is really embarrassing, but I've. I've got to come clean. I've sort of kind of lost the game. Are you I mean, kidding the me? executable for the game. So you've been running around the menu at the front end this whole time, um, and I've been stalling you a bit, trying to find where I left it, and I don't know where the actual game is in order to load it for you to play. Uh -huh. um, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's got to be around here somewhere, so I think I I'm still going to try and look for it. If you just if you just don't mind waiting a little bit ah, um, let me out I'll tell you what head this way and we'll, we'll sort something out for you in the meantime oh okay well I guess we'll go find something else to do oh so I was, I was playing this triple A game the other day um, I, I don't know if you've played it or heard of it it's called Skyrim and in the uh, <laughs> loading screens for that game, they have uh, objects from the game just like rotating around, so you can just look at them while you're waiting. Um, so I'm I'm gonna do that with this with this plant, this potted plant, <laughs> um, while while I just go and look for for the for the game files. So I'll, I'll try and be as quick as I can. Hang on, just wait there. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> this uh, this this potted plant actually was made by one of our modelers, Tom. And he, he spent all, all day on it. So um, I hope you appreciate, you can look at it and appreciate just how, how much hard work went into that. Yeah, he, thanks, Tom. He took him all day. He was having some trouble with the alfalfa channels or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know. It's not really my area. But, but it's a really nice, it's a really nice plant. I think you should great, look at it. Great it's plant, nice. Tom. Fantastic plant. Tom. I mean, I, I checked the folders. I'm a hundred. I'm like, I'm ninety nine percent sure that it was that it was in there. I, I checked the, the game. The folders where's like the one percent? I checked one that's called game underscore final. I checked one that's called game underscore final final. Game underscore final final two. Game underscore final with a bunch of mashed keys on the keyboard. What about the game final final final? Underscore final 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 with the last final spelled in black oh, okay. caps. So you know I was serious when I made that folder, and I just don't see it. Uh, I'm like seventy percent sure it's in one of those folders. Okay, now you're not so sure. It's basically what you're telling me. Right, I just checked the recycling bin and I found uh, a folder with a room in it uh, called uh, Death Trap Test Room, um, which looks like it could be something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load that and we're going to go there and we're going to just we're just going to start the game from there and see and see. That what sounds happens. like fun. okay. So so let's go. That sounds like fun. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, it's a bit dark in here. Uh, maybe let's find a, a light switch. Maybe a lever or something that uh, brings up some lights. Well, the skull of my enemies are are really everywhere right now. I, I don't know. Uh, what man in the right mind would pull this and think, no, I'm oh safe. god, you've activated the oh, death trap. No, no. You can see the spikes coming down. Uh, uh, well, so much just yep, the, I can't get out. Uh, I'm dead. Nope. Uh, uh, they're slowly coming down towards us. Uh, can you just, can you just turn that lever? It should, it should turn it off again. Um, well, I don't really want to be stuck. Oh no, that's oh, a bit of a mistake. It's coming down past there. Quick, do, do something. Uh, we forgot to program in the escape room. Oh uh, well, nope. Well, I well, am we'll dead. Yep. Oh. Press to respawn. Um, and so the player respawned and went to rescue the disembodied voice of game designer Stewart, who was trapped underneath the death trap roof. Stewart confessed that although he, he and his small team has tried to make a game for Adventure Jam, that they had been too ambitious. Stuart apologized for wasting the player's time and making them think they were going to play a really cool game set in a temple having all sorts of adventures. Stuart started solving, but then realized that the player had, well, emphasis on had, 
been on a venture after all. They had a cause explosion. <laughs> was not my fault, to be honest. I'm pretty sure they're talking about the VCR. That that was not my fault. <laughs> Uncovered an ancient death trap. The player had even saved Stuart's life. Both Stuart and the player laughed about their exploits and became lifelong friends for a moment before they were both consumed by the VCR fire. The player had started earlier in the game and they both died horribly at the end. Wait, hold up. That wasn't my fault. I, I told you guys that was not my fault. What happens if I click respawn? Oh, is that my respawn? Just going in here? <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the game. I actually enjoyed it. It was actually pretty interesting. Stuart. I think I butchered that. My bad if I did butcher your name if you actually watched this video. You know, I never actually seen the name spelled like this to be honest. But yeah, the game was actually pretty interesting. I enjoyed it. Too bad there wasn't a lot of choices to where you can like defy the narrator, but it was actually still pretty interesting. And I would love to see some more type of games like this from them because I actually enjoyed the Stanley Parables like kind of similar games. It's always been like a really interesting but kind of underrated genre to where there would be a narrator sort of like that but yeah there's certain ones that are like it but there is another one that's kind of like this as well which is called the Countess, which i played on my horror channel but i think it's still up or maybe it's private you guys can check out that if it's still up but yeah it was actually a enjoyable game i i liked it but yeah guys i'm gonna leave you all with that try out the game yourself and to then peace out